Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and happy Memorial Day, but it's also Monday, so that means another Mythic Monday, and today we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorites that I just got my hands on for the very first time, Magnus. If Saturday morning cartoons fueled your imagination as a kid and powers your action figure collecting now as an adult, then you're in the right place. Thanks for stopping by and welcome to Saturday Morning Toy Collecting. And if you like my content, please consider subscribing. All right, taking a closer look at the front of the package here, you can see Magnus in there. I love this sword that they give him. It's one of my favorites in the line. I really dig it. Got uh, the rest of his stuff down there. You can see his faction symbol there. And if you want to uh, um, pause this and read uh, his little bio, you can. Uh, you can see here that um, once I got Hadriana and did that review uh, a couple of weeks ago, I noticed that I had everybody in the wave except for Magnus, so I figured I needed to get him. So I found a seller. Um, online and I got it now it did arrive damaged I was gonna keep this guy sealed in pack but because he arrived damaged I decided to open him up and do a review so let's get him opened up and check out everything he comes with all right taking a closer look at the weapons and all of his accessories that he comes with he does come with this really nice sword that I absolutely love I love the beautiful blue and gold on the hilt this is one of my favorite swords in the whole mythics line I really dig it let's see with the other accessories uh, I don't believe I've ever had this shield before, and as he is, you know, um, one of the Red Shield, leaders of the Red Shield um, soldiers, uh, I think it's a brilliant idea that he comes with a Red Shield. I think this is absolutely beautiful, and I'm really glad to finally have a piece of, you know, this particular piece in my in my collection. He does come with the standard 1.0 style belt. He does come with your standard back uh, pieces. Now, he doesn't come with the secondary wing adapter because at the point in which these figures came out, the smaller wings were not a thing yet so it wasn't there uh, he does come with these very nice shoulder pauldrons which i absolutely love i love that they're black um it's the primary color or like this dark gray i really really dig that i think that's awesome um and you're gonna see how that breaks up the color in just a bit and then he does come with this extra helmet that i did not remember that he that he came with it's the bucket style helmet and he does come with a black plume that you can um, plug in the top if you have a red plume you can plug that in too if you want to make it a little um you know if you want to play up that red color um, but yeah this is a really nice accessory i'm glad he comes with it i didn't know he did now just taking a look at magnus straight out of the package straight up and down he is looking pretty amazing i love the bright gold um armor from head to toe the silver chainmail underneath i love that belt with the fur lining on it with the folds on the sides i think is just absolutely fantastic i love that tabard or, or that that you know that loincloth that hangs down in the front um i think it's just fantastic i love the black and the red how it breaks up the gold and we can't miss the head sculpt the head sculpt is just absolutely fantastic and looks amazing this is just a great figure head to toe and one that i'm super happy to finally have in my collection now taking a closer look at the figure um up close i mean that head sculpt is just absolutely fantastic i know we're getting it again uh this year at legions con in that cosmic legions two pack but i'm glad to have the original i love this in neck piece um, gorget, I believe is what that's called. I think that's really cool. This this loincloth piece is one of my favorites because it has so many different materials. It's got your plate mail. It's got your chain mail. It's got some um, uh, uh, fur lining on it. Now, this tabard is actually different than the one that comes with on Hadriana. Hers is kind of pointed at the bottom. I love the boots. Now, let's uh, check out this other head here and see what that looks like when we pop it on. And man, th yeah, this thing just looks great. You can imagine Magnus putting this helmet on and going into battle. It looks pretty fantastic. Let's pop the other Magnus head back on for the rest of the review uh, because it just looks so killer. Uh, let's go ahead and get these pauldrons on and let's see how that really changes the look of this guy. Uh, I'm really glad that they went with this black pauldron. Uh, it would have been really easy for them to just to go all gold and red, but I'm glad they went with this black. It really breaks up the gold and it pulls the, you know, the black down from the tabard. I just think it looks incredible. I, I, it looks so good. It's a decision I don't think I would have made, but I'm so glad that somebody who's better at color than I am made this decision because 
I really dig the way it looks. It just looks incredible. So let's bring in a couple other um, figures here with Magnus. Here we have his uh, leader, Hadriana, the leader of the Red Shield Army. And then uh, let's bring in a Red Shield soldier. Now, this is not an authentic Red Shield soldier. This is just one that I had some parts and pieces and I threw together and made my own. Uh, but I think they look fantastic together. And the fact that they lead this army and they're not all gold, I think is great. Uh, I think that's pretty that's pretty neat. So one of the things we're going to do here, as you guys know, I love my uh, my custom capes from Action Figure Armory, and uh, we're going to put this one on. I believe this cape was for your standard like gold knight, or maybe your um, you know maybe one of your standard gold soldiers, um, maybe one of the uh, Templars. I can't remember which one this cape was for, uh, but I purchased it knowing that I would be able to use it with somebody somewhere down the line. I think I got one of these that I also used on my um, Lee J uh, figure, but you know I think I, I popped this on Hadriana uh, and it looked pretty cool. Uh, but man, I think I think I really want to give it to this guy since it's more of a 1.0 style cape. It really fits his uh, fits his frame a little bit better. The the plugs in the back fit better or the holes fit better for the uh, pauldrons. But yeah, I absolutely love these capes. They're absolutely fantastic. I, I get so many of them. Every check, I, I, I buy uh, like one or two more, and I just love the way that looks, breaking up uh, you know, his shape a little bit. I love these capes. They're fantastic. You can bring it around the front if you want to have a little more regal look, but it also holds its shape super well. The, the material and the, and like the cloth that he uses and the wiring is just superb. It's absolutely fantastic. And it just adds so much to this character, a much needed, uh, extra pop of red. All right, here we have him in his different looks. He's looking really cool, uh, with his helmet on and his shield and his sword. Let's try a different look for him. Let's try the Magnus head with a, you know, like a, a different style sword in there. And man, he looks really great, ready to go into battle. Uh, I don't know if I really dig this elven sword with him, but I did want to give him like a, a really cool long sword with some gold accents. So this will work for now. I think it looks pretty, pretty nice. Uh, here we have a little pop and swap. I've put the gold pauldrons and the gold head um, from the gold knight uh, on him. Uh, and uh, give him a golden axe and uh, just golded him all out and he looks pretty pretty incredible and if you really want to like just completely bling him out here he is with the shoulder pauldrons and cape from Attila Leosir uh, the war uh, of the Aetherblade uh, two-pack uh, he looks pretty cool if you really want to just king this guy out and make him look like a king or a, you know like a an, a super knight but this is basically how he's going to go on my shelf i've given him the sword i've given him the shield and got this really cool um cape on him i think it just looks pretty fantastic and this is how this guy is going to go in my shield on my shelf ready to charge into battle thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching i super appreciate it happy memorial day to everybody out there this was another mythic monday so i'm glad you guys spent your memorial day checking this video out i really appreciate it please continue to check us out over instagram at saturday morning toy collector i am your saturday morning toy collector i'm your host mark and i will see you guys in the toy aisles